Hello everyone, this is Rajraj from TechFormant and in this video, we are going to create a simple project with the help of GitHub, GitHub APIs and we will implement Fetch APIs concept. So here is a, have, we have a project. We have a project name is GitHub user search. Here you can pass the GitHub username. So let's say I'll pass my GitHub username. I'll click on the search button and we will call the Fetch APIs for GitHub and then here we have a data so if i'll add something 34 and then here we can get the result user not found so let's see how we can implement so for implementing github apis we will use api.github.com slash user so if i'll pass the username so let's say slash bridge raj so here we have a username and it will give you the user details about the bridge raj and in this project we will use the bootstrap so we have we will implement bootstrap so this is a bootstrap so what i'll do first i will create a file name is index.html and then we will create another file app.js we will write a javascript logic okay so now what i'll do i'll write html basic logic so this is a html basic logic and here we will add bootstrap so this is a bootstrap website here we have a we need to copy this css path so i'll just copy this path and i will paste here before closing the head section okay and then we need to create a ui for designing parts so first we will create a container so here we have a container and then inside we have a row and then we will create a column of md let's say 12 here we have a value and then we need to create input field so what i'll do i'll go to the documentation so here we have a documentation in the bootstrap and then we have a section for the form and inside we have a section for form control so here we have a tutorial about how we can implement the form so i'll just copy the form second one so i'll just copy this one and i will paste here for the form okay so here we will write in placeholder get a username and here we can write remove this aria label it's totally up to you and here we can write auto complete off okay so it will not give you the auto suggestions about the previous github username now we need to create a button so i'll just go to the github document uh, bootstrap documentations then we have a component and here we have a button so i'll just copy the button code so i'll just using the primary button code so i'll just remove and here we have a button for primary okay so here we will write search as a button name and here we can define the id so let's say my id is a button and here we can also define the id so id is use get of username so here we write g user name okay now this ui is complete so i'll just run this particular ui with the help of vs code live server now i will open index.html file with the help of vs code live server so this is a ui so we have a text field and then we have a search button so here we will write uh, let's say h2 and here we can write github user or profile search and here we can write some margin top so we have a value class name is empty hyphen top you can pass value so we have some space and similarly here in the button section we have a class here you can define a margin from top so let's say margin from top is equal to three so we have a details about the github now we will go to the app.js file and then we have an inspect element so first we will include this app.js file in our html page with the help of script tags so we have a script src tag and here we will link app.js file so i'll save and i'll go to the inspect element console.log and here we will write console.log and here we'll write github okay so i'll save so my file is working so now i'll write a logic when we click on this particular button we need to get the data from this particular input fields so 
what i'll do i'll write the logic document dot get element by id so my id is a btn when i click so this is a bot with the help of this logic i will access this particular dom and we need to perform my actions so we need to use add event listener so inside add event listener as a method we need to pass two things like first the my name of the action uh, like actions so actions name is a click and then we need to pass the name of the function so my name function is show github username so github user profile so this is a long profile function name so it's okay so you can change the function name is totally up to you so here we will create a function so here we have a function and then we have a function name okay now what i'll do here we can write some console.log for checking whether the function is calling or not so here we'll write calling so i will save when i click on this particular search button and it's working now we need to read the value of this particular field so we have a user id is g username so here what i'll do i'll write document dot get element by id so here we have a document dot get element by id is get a username and then we need to read the value so we need to write well okay now we need to install store this particular data in this username as a field okay now we need to call this api so how we can call the api so we have a fetch method so we have a fetch method and inside fetch method we need to pass the url so we have a url so i'll just open the url api dot api dot github dot com slash user and then we will pass slash user id let's say bridge raj and it will give you the user information okay so my here we will write the url let url is equal to and this is a url so we will pass this url here and here we need to pass the username as a dynamic so here we have a url okay so we will pass this url in this particular fetch function and this fetch function will work as a javascript promises so either it will resolve or reject so if it is resolved means we can handle the data so we can get the data in terms of result and now we need to convert this data as a result into the json file and again this will give you the javascript promises so we need to handle with again then block and if it is successfully resolved so we need to handle with the data and here we have a data console.log and then here we can print the data and if there is any issues or we can handle the logic of reject block in the part of catch section so we have a catch section here we have an error and we can print the error with the help of e okay so i will save and i will go to the ui now i will save and i'll go to the ui so this is my applications when i reload this page and when i click uh pass the username let's say bridge raj and this will give you the data about bridge raj okay and when i pass bridge raj to 34 so this username is not defined so when it will give you the message like message and then we have a field message not defined so here we can write two cases like if data dot message this particular object having a field property name is message if there is any message here that means get a user profile is not found so here we can write console.log and user profile not found and else we have a data so else we we are getting this type of javascript object here we can print the javascript object with the help of console.log here we have a data so i will save this entire logic and will pass the again javascript object uh, github username and then here we have a data and if i'll pass 34 and then click on the search and this will give you user profile not found okay now we can print this profile uh, in the ui part 
so what i'll do here we have a row one so here we will create another row so here we'll write a logic for git hub profile info okay so here we have a get a profile info and then we have a row and then we'll create a column so let's say i'll create a column of 12 and inside we will pass the value so what i'll do here we will define the id as a result okay so here we will pass the dynamic object so what i'll do here we'll write document dot get element by id so my id is res inside we need to write inner html and then we need to create a multi-line string so now we can create a multi-line string with the help of this particular symbol and here we can print the data so i'll save right now and when i just type bridge raj as a github username and then click on the search button and then this will give you the details about the bridge raj and then we have an image url with the help of avatar url as a object key so here we will write image src and here we can pass the object value of the javascript variable so with the help of dollar symbol curly braces and then this we have a data and then here we can pass the java's avatar url so here we have an avatar url okay now here we can apply some styles so here we'll write style width is equal to 100 percent and then what type of details i want to print uh, so here we need we can write p tag and then let's say i'll print github username so my github username is uh, login or we can print the entire name so here we have a field as a name so we'll write dollar symbol curly braces and then data dot name this will give you the username and similarly we can pass in the small bracket we can pass the github username so we can pass the github name username so i'll just copy and here i will paste github usernames with the help of login field okay and also you can pass the bio section so i'll just paste and here we have a bio uh, so we have a bio this one so i'll just copy this bio and i will paste it here data dot bio okay so i'll save and here if this particular block is not found like this profile is not found so here we'll write this entire logic and here we'll write multi-line string equal to symbol and we will close and here we will write h3 slash h3 and here we can write profile not found so i will save and then we'll run this logic so what i'll do here we'll write github username so my github username is bridge raj so when i click on this particular button and then so i'll just check the error i'm getting the error in error html so document dot get element by id of inner html we can where the data is equal to res and i will save and when i click on this particular button bridge raj and yeah here we are getting a data because we haven't share saved the index.html file okay so right now this is a ui and here we can write some empty margin top hyphen five so i will save when i click when i write bridge raj this will give you the details about bridge raj okay and we'll write 34 33 so this profile is not found when i say bridge raj for 30 bridge raj and this will give you the details about my okay so similarly we have another profile so you can go to the apis dot uh, github dot com slash users so here we'll call the api so we have a github username so i'll just pass this github username and then this will give you the user information about this particular things okay so this is how we can implement fetch api uh, we just need to use fetch as a function and then we need to pass uh, the url and this will give you the promises and then we can create a simple project with the help of github apis okay you can also deploy this entire web page on Firebase 
and I have created a video how we can deploy our web page on Firebase. So you can check out the video in the video description section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.